here to the International Space Station. Cygnus has just departed the 30 meter hold point and is on its way to the capture point this morning. Here's a live look at Cygnus on its way to the International Space Station, now sitting at just under 17 meters away from the International Space Station. Station on uh, two, four, still set, step seven approach, monitoring with your nominal block Bravo. Copy. Now sitting at just under 16 meters away from the International Space Station, Cygnus is ready for an on-time capture around 5.10 a.m. Central Time. At the controls of robotic arm is NASA astronaut Megan MacArthur, backed by Thomas Pesquet of the European Space Agency. The Canada Arm 2 that will be used for capture this morning is part of Canada's contribution to the International Space Station. A 57.7 foot long arm was largely involved in the assembly of the orbiting laboratory. Each end of the Canada Arm 2 features an identical hand known as the latching end effector. These pieces contain cables that tighten to ensure a strong grip. They allow the robotic arm to firmly grasp objects like we see today, like we will see today with Cygnus. Once Cygnus is captured this morning, controls of the robotic arm will be handed over to the robotics controllers on the ground to install Cygnus to the station for berthing later this morning. Houston and two confirm the capture point hold for step eight and one decimal one zero two. Houston station on two step eight one one zero two. Uh, we confirm the capture conditions are all met and the crew is ready for signals capture. Stand by for capture. You can see Cygnus in view at the end of the space station's robotic arm. This is a view from the Canada arm itself. Cygnus is now sitting at 12 meters away from the International Space Station. We are currently going through a go-no-go no go poll around the room to ensure that Cygnus is ready for capture this morning. Station Houston and two, go for Cygnus capture sequence. Step four in one decimal one one zero Cygnus capture. Begin monitoring the back away cue card. Copy, we'll go for step four in one decimal one one zero, and we're monitoring the back away cue card. Good read back. That was Capcom Leslie Ringo confirming Cygnus's go for capture. All the milestones this morning are complete. Now heading into our last step of the capture itself. In just a few more minutes, we should start seeing the robotic arm moving in closer to Cygnus for an on-time capture today around 5.10 a.m. Central Time. Once the Canada Arm 2 starts moving, there will be a series of checks before capture, some readouts of the distance from the arm to the capture position over the pin, then the, stairs, the snares will be closed and we will wait for com confirmation of capture. Cygnus is now in free drift configured for capture. Station on 2, we're beginning our approach. Copy. We have confirmation the arm is in motion. This is the final stretch for capture for the Cygnus resupply cargo spacecraft this morning. The Canada Arm 2 is now about two meters away from Cygnus. And we have confirmed capture at 5.07 a.m. Central Time, 6.07 a.m. Eastern, as the International Space Station and Cygnus were flying 270 statute miles above southwest Portugal. Station 
on space to ground two. Cygnus capture is complete. You are go for Cygnus post capture reconfig. Congratulations, and it's great to have Cygnus back at ISS. Thanks, Leslie. On behalf of the Expedition 65 crew, I'm pleased to bring the Cygnus spacecraft SS Ellison Onizuka aboard the International Space Station today. Our congratulations go out to the combined teams from Northrop Grumman and NASA for the mission successes so far. This mission enables groundbreaking research through which we hope to meet Colonel Onizuka's challenge to enable the next generation to look out from a higher plateau. And you heard some word from Cap. Capcom Leslie Ringo and Megan MacArthur aboard the station who successfully captured the Cygnus vehicle today at 5.07 a.m. Central Time, 6.07 a.m. Eastern Time as the International Space Station and Cygnus were flying 262 statute miles above southwest Portugal. Cygnus began its journey to the International Space Station after lifting off from the Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia on top of an Air Antares rocket on Tuesday, August 10th at 5.01 p.m. Central Time. Cygnus made a two-day journey to be captured by Net NASA's Megan MacArthur at the controls of the Canada 2 robotic arm, backed by Thomas Pesquet of the European Space Agency at 5.07 a.m. Central Time today as the International Space Station flew 262 statute miles above southwest Portugal. The Cygnus spacecraft for this space station resupply mission was dedicated to Ellison Onozuku, uh, selected as the first Asian American astronaut. Onozuka, who spent nearly his entire life flying in air and in space, lost his life during the STS 51L mission when the space station shuttle challenge. You are currently seeing live views, beautiful views of Cygnus and the International Space Station flying 262 statute miles above India. Information from the team here in Mission Control, Houston, up to the station to Megan MacArthur aboard the International Space Station. Each Cygnus spacecraft is named after an influential individual in the world of spaceflight. And Cygnus spacecraft for this resupply mission is dedicated to Ellison Onazuka, who is the first Asian American to fly in space. Onazuka, who spent nearly his entire life flying in air and in space, lost his life during the STS 51L mission when the Space Shuttle Challenger exploded 73 seconds after launch. He made the ultimate sacrifice in service to the space program, and his legacy lives on in his fellow astronauts and all who he has inspired and taught to fly. We are currently in a brief handover period between satellites. You're currently seeing a live view from the International Space Station Flight Control Room. This is a live view from the common berthing mechanism central line camera system showing good alignment with the vehicle. You are currently getting beautiful views of Cygnus and the International State Space Station as they are flying 262 statute miles above the coast of Singapore. If you're just joining us, we've been following the Cygnus spacecraft this morning as it approached and was on its way to the International Space Station carrying 8,200 pounds of cargo. Cygnus was captured at 5.07 a.m. Central Time by NASA astronaut Megan MacArthur at the controls of the station's robotic arm, backed by European Space Agency astronaut Thomas Pesquet. And following capture, controls of the robotic arm were handed over to ground controllers who commanded the robotic arm to slowly maneuver Cygnus to the correct position to be installed to the International Space Station this morning. It's been a very gradual process as flight controllers send commands to the station's arm, ultimately lining Cygnus up with the Earth-facing side of the station's Unity module. This cargo resupply mission started two days ago when Cygnus launched atop an Antares 230-plus rocket Tuesday, August 10th at 5.01 p.m. Central Time from Pad 0A at NASA's Wallops Flight Facility. 
in Virginia. At the time of launch, the International Space Station was flying 261 statute miles over the southern Indian Ocean. And about 200, two hours, two and a half hours later, solar rays were deployed and Cygnus continued its journey to the International Space Station where we met it this morning.